All of the emotions that surround debt and being in debt are hugely disempowering. The main emotions are shame and guilt, and there's nothing activating, there's nothing that empowers us in shame and guilt. So shame and guilt includes denial as well. It's not opening bank statements. It's not answering telephone calls. It's not dealing with the mounting debt. It's not feeling in a place of being able to do anything to draw a line under the debt and start taking positive action. And this is a trauma response. So when you're in a state of trauma, it's very, all the associated symptoms of trauma, disassociation, denial, procrastination, vagueness, brain fog, all of those things come into play around debt. So it's not, it's not, it's not difficult to see why people would find it so difficult to make the first steps to make some positive changes. They're in a state of trauma. And in that state of trauma, the shame and guilt are the only emotions that they're feeling. And when they're in that state, it's almost impossible to, to be able to step up and take positive action. Mm -hmm.